What's up, YouTube? So, as many of you know, Dad and I spent four days dirt biking at Chappy Shasta OHB Park last summer, and it was absolutely awesome. This video is Trail 11 at the OHB Park there. It's an intermediate single track, which means on the map it's a blue square, and super fun trail. Again, it's a single track. It's the first single track we rode in the park, and that's primarily because it's the closest to where you park. So you're able to quickly get to this trail by hopping on a few ATV tracks to get there. Super awesome trail. This is us going up the trail. Uh, we originally started by going down the hill. This is our trip back up it. And absolutely awesome. It's got some rocky sections. It's got some sharp turns. Some steeper little climbs. Nothing crazy. Really, it's actually quite a good warm-up for the rest of the park. We enjoyed the trail immensely. I think we ended up doing this trail about four or five times while we were at the Chappie Shasta OHV park. And overall, just a really fun trail. As you can tell, I just stalled it there. I think I stalled it about twice on our first couple go-arounds and I think I fell once and I don't think dad fell but you know it's a challenging trail it's nothing crazy but definitely a bit of a challenge at times and beautiful absolutely beautiful as far as the whole park goes it, it feels like you're on the lower elevation side of the park you're not so high up which is nice uh, especially if you're not used to riding with big drop-offs or you know big slopes next to you this would be a great warm-up trail to do before hitting some of the other trails which definitely have some no-go zones as far as if you were to fall off the trail but again super awesome trail got some fun challenges to it nothing crazy though but definitely a single track would not be able to take an ATV on this. In fact, the trail is marked very well and, and tells you so. And that's the nice thing about Chappy Shasta OHV Park is everything is marked really, really well. And what we would do typically on an average ride is the night before I would write on a piece of paper, you know, right onto trail 11, left on a trail 15. And then when we'd get to a fork in the road, I'd pull out a piece of paper a look at look at what our little map notes are so awesome trail the OHV park itself is super cool uh, I haven't posted many videos of it but I have a lot of footage from it so I'll be posting more of these videos very soon or at least that's the hope but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and just soak in the awesomeness that's Chappy Shasta OHV park and now, if you're ever in that area, definitely worth riding it. It challenged us as riders. We're from Central California, and this was a totally different type of riding. You know, there's some parts of it. You can tell here you're just riding this rut, and there's rocks, and this is really a fraction of what you deal with at other parts of the OHV park. There's times where all you're riding on is rocks, and nothing your wheel, your tires are touching is really solid ground it's just rocks that are about the size of your fist again awesome trail hope you guys enjoy it feel free to comment and let me know what you think or if you've been here what you thought of it and that's that here we are at the pine trees you'll see dad coming up the trail in a few moments here but this is one cool thing about chappy shasta it is very dry but as you climb, you get to see the difference in the environment. Have a good one, guys. Take care.